Are you a recruiter trying to capture email and work experience for potential candidates? Or maybe you're a small business just trying to generate more leads by acquiring more contact information. Well, DataMiner can help, and we can do it with two different methods. I'll quickly run through these two methods, but then later in the video, I'll go through them again with a little bit more detail so you can follow along and pause as you need. So let's jump right in. Let's start with the first method, which is using a public recipe. And then just like that, we have the data. And now let's move on to the second method, which is creating your own recipe. And then again, just like that, we have the data. At this point, you can now download the information. You can either download it as a CSV, Excel file, or copy it to your clipboard. Now I'll go over those two methods once again, but with a little bit more detail. The first recipe, I'm sorry, the first method is using public recipes. A recipe is a set of instructions data miner uses to read and scrape a site. Public recipes are created and maintained by our users, so some sites will have more than others. So let's go ahead and take a look at our public recipe. You'll open up Data Miner, go to the Public tab, look through the list and find one that's appropriate. So we have Sandbox, Dash, Detail, and then you can also look at the columns, which will save the items that are being extracted. So we have name, email, and so on. So let's go ahead and run this one. And now we have the data, data available to download. And now we'll take a look at the second method, which is creating your own recipe. So once again, we'll open up Data Miner. And then we'll click New Recipe. And Data Miner is able to create two types of recipes. It can do a list recipe or a detail recipe. A detail recipe is the page we're on where all the details are specific to one person or product. And then a list recipe is more for like a search page where you have multiple long listings of different items. The list page is used for automation. People use this automation to capture multiple detail pages just from the search results page. We'll have more videos covering this process further along in help documents. For now, let's focus on developing a detail recipe. And what you'll do with it at this point is just manually visit the URL and scrape it yourself. All right, so let's go ahead and, on. Let's go ahead and continue building the recipe. So we'll go on to the columns. This is the individual data that you want to extract. So let's say name. And then we'll press the find button. The find button is what you use to find the information on the page. It will activate the hover and you can use with your mouse to hover over different pieces of information. And then with your keyboard, you'll hit shift. At this point, you'll now see a dotted line. The dotted line means that the information is pending and you need to select one of the items suggested on the right here. You'll either see elements or classes. So it looks like we have an element, so I'll select that. And now the purple indicates that the item is locked in and all you have to do is confirm it. And you can double check by clicking the little eyeball here on the right. Perfect. So now we'll build one more column. Let's make this email and press the find button once again. And then we'll hover and tap shift. And at this point, it looks like we have a class suggested. So let's pick the class email. It is now locked in and we will confirm it. Great, so now we have the email as well. And then we have a few more tabs that are called actions and JS. These are some more advanced features and we'll have videos covering this further along in the help documentation. At this point, we'll go ahead and just press save. Give it a name. And we'll press save. And then run it. And there we go, we have the data. I will mention that there is actually one more option or one more method of scraping and it's called right click get similar. Um, that process is designed more for tables and it won't actually work for this type of page. Um, this detail page is too complex, but I also want you just to be aware of that there is a right click get similar method where you can instantly get data from simple tables. And I suggest looking into that as well. 
and we will have information for that further along in the help documents. All right, well, that pretty much covers everything. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, and thanks for watching. Okay, 